Hey, this is Matt Vulcan, Gasifier. Um, well, so much for, for doing a video of a cold startup to engine run. I, uh, I did this video just prior to this, and uh, somehow in, in between um, when I started it and the end of it, I somehow shut the camera off after about a minute. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we are uh, approaching fall here, so we're getting ready for 2016, and... Uh, a lot's going to change here. Uh, we're going to roll back the product line to just two machines. Um, we've pretty much figured out where the market is, and uh, this gasifier right here has been our top seller. Um, I really don't see a need to uh, make them smaller. Um, to be honest, you know, you're, there's really not much you can do with a gasifier that's any smaller than this. Um, this machine is perfect. It, it'll run a five horse engine on up to this 20 hor 22 horsepower Predator uh, engine. Um, it's a it's a great gasifier. It's really peaked in its development. Um, the machine makes excellent gas. There, it does not make any tar. Um, so um, it's 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 one of those things where it's you know if it's not broke, don't fix it. So we're done done fixing it for the most part there are a few uh, revisions I am going to make for the the 2016 model and I'll show you that in a minute um, in addition uh, we are going to offer attachments for this machine to replace some of the mach machines that are going to get dropped for next year so um, if you want just the gasifier you can you can purchase the gasifier but if you want a turnkey system we are going to offer this generator here um, with our electronics um, it will have an electronic uh, fuel mixer. Um, with that setup, you will have a bulletproof uh, setup. Um, the, the, our fuel mixer, uh, coupled to an engine of this uh, caliber, it will run as consistently as gasoline. It's going to allow you to run. It's going to you're going to maximize your efficiencies because it'll be always be driven to the perfect air fuel mixer mixture. Um, it's just a, overall, it's a, it's a great system, and I'm going to be able to offer it to you for a fairly reasonable cost. Um, we can't build this generator. This we can't build a generator of this caliber for what we can get the Predator for. So um, I, I'm just going to do this and uh, offer our, our electronics on it. Something we may offer for those that don't want to buy the Predator from us with the electronic setup, we may offer the adapter and you can set it up for a manual setup like I have it here. Um, you'll have to contact us for pricing on that and we'll, we'll do what we can to uh, get you a good deal on that. Um, in addition to that, um, we are going to offer a standalone hopper and basically that'll be our already developed hopper system for our big machines. And we'll put it on, uh, oh, more or less stilts that'll uh, sit behind the gasifier. So basically, you can put your generator underneath it, and it'll act as a nice enclosure for it. And it'll attach to the side of the gasifier here. And we'll, we'll relocate the ignition port probably to the front or to the other side or something. <coughs> so that'll be uh, also an addition. Um, Fuel processing equipment may come later in the year next year. Uh, we're looking at the Harbor Freight wood chipper that they just come out with. It's actually a pretty pretty nice looking chipper. Uh, we, we need to purchase one and test it out and, and see if it'll be a good candidate. Um, you know, so that's not set in stone yet. Um, so I'm going to bring you into the shop and show you that tank. So you can see I got a couple more pre-release systems here. Um, these got a little nicer box on them. They have labels so you know what, what buttons fun function as what. Um, first button is the, let's see if I can get this to focus. You got your blower system, the gasifier manager, that's the great hopper shakers. And these are the timers for, for uh, those systems. Uh, you have a hopper agitator. Um, this is the, the amount of time you want, want it to go on for, and then the duration of time you want it to be off for. And same thing with the grate. 
actuator. So you have full, full control over those on the fly. And yeah, that's a real nice feature of the machines. All right, so now I'm gonna bring you over to a tank that we have in progress. And what this tank is, it's pretty much like you saw before, except for the addition of the, the ash bin. Focus again. So now, um, this is going to be a real nice feature. I think we'll, we will be the first to market um, with this feature. Uh, as you can see, there's a big opening here. That's for a door. Uh, when it's time to remove the ash, you will simply uh, unlatch the door, open it, and there'll be a tray inside. You take the tray out, dump your ash, and you're done. Clean, quick, and easy. Um, the uh, centrifugal filter will get mounted here, and it also has a, an access door. So, them are going to be really nice features for this machine next year. Um, in addition to the filtration, we've also added a filter. So, it's now a uh, four stage filter. And this is new. And you're going to be able to add different medias uh, to this filter. They will have to be non-combustible materials. Um, lava rocks uh, will be one of the materials that you could use. They're uh, reusable. Um, there will be a bin that they'll go in. And you can simply remove that bin, dump those rocks out, wash them, put them back in, and reinstall them in here. I mean, the idea of this filter is to keep them condenser tubes nice and clean so it's always, always good. Have, this machine will always have a good flow and it also makes it if you do have to clean them you, they have perfect access so you don't have to tear nothing apart to clean that condenser another nice feature to the new new machines is the service cover on the side old systems we had the service cover on the bottom that did require uh, disassembly of the machine to even get them off you know there's no more disassembly everything's accessible a lot, lot, lot more user friendly than what they were before. And of course, the wheel chassis is also um, standard for next year, so they all will come with wheels. And of course, the automation package, as you see on this box, is also standard. So um, these are, you know, we got all, quite a few uh, new features for, for the 2016 model. Take you out here. This is a, uh, it's kind of a hybrid. Um, it's a 2015, uh, 2016 model, I guess you could call it. Sort of like the other ones. Um, this isn't how it's going to be in 2016, but it's a step uh, towards that, the 2016 version. Um, one of the new features is self-running. The machine will, you will not need to, these ports are here just in case you need them, but you're not going to need to use them. The machine will self-run by the push of a button. Um, we've already got all the code set up and tested, so we know it works. So that that is a cool feature. This is one of the valves that will direct uh, the gas flows. But the nice thing about this machine is that, you know, if any of the electronics ever goes down, you can always revert back to the old way. Uh, we got the Vortec V8 sitting there and then the McAlte head. We offer this in 25 kilowatt and then also... We do offer this in a 50 kilowatt version. That's what this machine is, and it does run at higher RPM. It's a two pole, two pole and that's a four pole. So that's what we have come upcoming for 2016. Um, we are going to do a redesign, complete redesign of this machine mid-year. Um, we have some other technologies that are uh, uh, up and coming and all that will get implemented on the new version. Um, so be looking out for that. All right, so back to the pre-release of the 2016 Flex Series 1 and the generator. So I was, like I said, I just had this thing fired up and uh, um, so it is kind of pre, pre-warm. But I'll go through the procedure just to show uh, first thing we're going to want to do is make sure we have fuel in the hopper. So as you can see, there's a little bit of steam coming out of there. i got my fuel here. So we're just going to dump this in there. And you can fill that right up to the, right up to the rim. And you can see the chips that we're using. 
That's about the size of chips you want that are, that are designed for this machine. That's what it's tuned for. So we'll close the lid. I give it a little bump to make sure it's sealed. Um, same thing with uh, the filtration. <coughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna open the the blower valve and turn power to the blower motor on. And put fire to the machine. So this is the ignition port. And like I said, this thing's already pretty much lit, but just to, just for show. And that's really the duration that you'd need to light it. And I usually wait till I see a, a bit of smoke coming out. So I was adjusting those on the fly. I noticed one was a bit out of whack. But I think that's good enough. I'm going to transition this over. So I'm going to remove the primary air uh, input and replace the ignition port cap. So this thing is probably already ready to go. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to give that a minute and show you that the generator is uh, out of gas, um, that's the valve, um, if it had gas supply going to it, it would actually be pointing the other direction, but there's no on off on it, so I'll just show you that it's, it's out. So I'm going to open our, the uh, intake air to the engine, completely open so it can run on gasoline. Crank it over. So it would fire if it had gases. But I'm going to change this back to here. That's where it was last running. I typically like to see a little more blue on the flare, but uh, just because it's orange, that doesn't mean that this machine is making any tar. Uh, don't get. Uh, deceived by all the, the flared color stuff that's on the internet. It, it, the machines make all kinds of colors and that doesn't mean it's making tar. <coughs> blue is actually a bad color. Uh, it's a, when you're making a pure blue flame, it's, it's carbon monoxide, not hydrogen. Hydrogen burns more of a, like an orangish yellow yellow color. It's you know, a, lot, a lot lighter than what you see here. But uh, When you see purples, that's showing um, methane. It's, a good mix of methane. Typically what I like to see is a blue base and then like a peach color um, um, added into it. But you can see it's starting to, starting to change. And that's actually a pretty, pretty good color right there. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch over to, to engine road, run mode. Um, I'm gonna shut the ball valve off, turn the power to the blower off, uh, change our gas output to the engine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime the engine. So I'm gonna, want, I'm gonna close that completely off so I'm pulling 100% wood gas to the engine to get it primed. So I'm just gonna do that for a few seconds. <laughs>
soon and uh, you know, follow our progress for next year. It's going to be a good year. Thanks.